Okay, we have a triangle to solve here. When we first start drawing this triangle, I always put the side I don't know, side C, on the bottom. Uh, and then I have angle A is 64 degrees, side B is 17, and side A is 16. I don't quite know how, how long this is yet. And notice I'm in this SSA triangle situation, so I need to test to figure out how many triangles I actually have. So first I need to test to find out what the height of this triangle is. So the height of the triangle will be B sine A, that is 17 sine 64 degrees. And in this triangle, for that we get 17 sine 64 is approximately 15.28. And since side A, side A is uh, greater than 15.28, that is side A is 16, and it is less than 17, we have two triangles here. So in drawing, either we have side 16 attaching here on one side, or not drawn very easily to see it, but side 16 other, on the other side as well. Um, so we have two options for our triangles. Either we have our angle theta here, or unfortunately I have to draw over my 64, or that angle is going to be on the other side. So we're solving for two different triangles here, so I have space on the side for my two different answers. So let's begin to solve. I have both sides and one angle. So I'll find sine of 64 over 16 is equal to sine of B over 17. So sine of B will be equal to 17 sine 64 over 16. And that gives me an angle B of approximately 72.7 of approximately, excuse me, 17, 72.7 degrees. And we'll call that B1. That's our, that's our acute angle for B. So I'll put that over in B1, that's 72.7 degrees. To find the other angle, since these two angles in this isosceles triangle, these sides are both 16, these two are both 72.7, that means to find B2, I'll take 180 minus 72.7 to find angle B2. And so I'll do that, 180 minus 72.7 to give me 107.3 degrees for B2. Going on then, I need to use uh, the law of cosines to find side C. That is, I'll take C squared is equal to 16 squared plus 17 squared minus 2 times 16 times 17 cosine of C. I need cosine of C first. So we get here, we're about to get side C, but I need my side, uh, my angle C. Um, and to do that, I'll take 180 minus 72.7 minus 64. Well, I almost forgot to do that part. Good thing I got caught. Um, and C2, I'll do the 180 minus 107.3 this time. Again, minus 64 degrees. So my two sides, C1, I'll end up with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 43.3 degrees. And angle C2, I'll end up with 8.7 degrees. And so finally, um, I need to do this twice in my law of cosines. <coughs> excuse me, I'll either be inserting here <clears throat> an 8.7 degrees for C2, or I'll be inserting a 43.3 degrees 
for C1 and evaluating that using my calculator here, of course, I've got my 16 squared plus 17 squared minus 2 times 16 times 17 times cosine of 8.7. I'll do that one first. Remember, of course, this is the squared C, so I take the square root of my answer. And so C2 is approximately 2.7. I can get that second entry again, and this time taking the cosine of 43.3 degrees, and C1, again the square root, will be approximately 12.2. So in this problem I have two full answers, triangle 2 and triangle 1, one an obtuse triangle and one an acute triangle.